Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today we are comparing the SC Custom 2408 to the CE Standard Satin. Let's go! So, let's check out these beautiful guitars and before hearing them, let's check out the specs. So let's check out the wood differences. This one is uh, set neck construction first of all and this one is a uh, bolt-on which is the main difference between these two guitars uh, the wood is the same the wood choices are the same but they are slightly different uh, so for example they are both mahogany bodies maple necks but this one doesn't have a maple top it's all mahogany so it's a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter 2408 is 3.6 kilograms while the uh, C24 is 3.1 kilograms. The necks are both maple with rosewood fingerboard, but the C has a one-piece neck with a scarf joint on the headstock, um, while the 2408 has a three-piece neck construction. As far as the hardware goes, they are pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, bear in mind that this one has been a little bit upgraded, so uh, I changed the springs on the back and I changed the nut. This one is now a bone nut and I put the PRS uh, SC locking tuners so uh, playing the guitars they feel very differently uh, this one is a, a glossy one and this one is a satin one also the neck is satin so as far as feel goes uh, this one looks prettier because of the shininess uh, but I do think that this one is a little bit more comfortable to hold uh, especially since if, if, you are, if you have sweaty hands and I kinda do uh, they, they, it doesn't become sticky and it's something that I really appreciate about my, uh, my Fender which also has a satin back neck um, but yeah, the, the, the feel is uh, it's very different uh, the weight seems much different than it is uh, I thought it would be more than uh, half a kilo of a different but yeah, you, you feel it and I think it's due to the uh, fundamentally the lack of a top other significant difference is the pickups. The CE has the uh, 8515S pickups. This one has the TCI-S pickups, which it means tune capacitance inductance. And yeah, they sound pretty different. I thought that they would be much more similar, but yeah, they sound different. Um, it's up to you to decide which one you like best. Uh, bear in mind, the only thing that is not equal in these two guitars uh, is the strings because this one comes with the 9s and this one is a kit with 10 to 46 uh, that may cause a little bit of a difference in the sound but I don't think that the differences that you will hear are due to the strings I think they are more to the pickups themselves and a little bit to the construction of the guitar uh, being Bolton and set neck but enough talking let's hear them and then we come to the conclusion
think I really like them both uh, of course mine is uh, the one that I prefer because I've been playing it for almost uh, three years now and it's it's a great sounding guitar it plays great it has a very nice fretwork uh, from the factory like most mostly all PRS do uh, even the most the cheapest ones uh, and yeah it's, it's true to the it's true with the CE too uh, I like the sound of it, I like the feel of it, I like the look of it, especially in this color, it's amazing. And I think if you can find the right one with the seams that are less visible, uh, yeah, it's a stunning guitar. And yeah, it also, it also is uh, nice because most, there are some people that don't like the, the flashiness of the uh, uh, PRS tops, and yes, if you go with something like this, uh, even in the red color, it's a little bit it's a little more subdued, uh, less in the face, and yeah, for some uh, genres or for some people, it's better that way. I like the Bolton construction. It's not the same as the core models, which uh, tend to look like the set necks, but just with the screws down there. While this construction is probably less uh, expensive to to, man to manufacture, and it's more similar to the Silver Sky. As far as sound goes, uh, yeah, they sound different. Hello, Sergio from the future here. Uh, I listened to the recordings back to back and I have to say the differences are much less prominent in the video that, than they are here in the, in the room. Uh, so I highly suggest if you can and if you're undecided, try them in the shop uh, because it's, uh, first of all, it's a feel thing. Uh, they, they, they feel differently and so you are uh, you play differently on them. If, if you find one more comfortable, you're probably gonna play better on that one. Of course, they are not two completely different guitars. It's like uh, one is satin, the other is not. Uh, the shape of the neck is the same. Uh, the position of the stuff around the guitar is the same. Of course, in the 24Z rate, you have two more sound because you can individually split the pickups, but that's up to you. If you don't need that, you, you're not considering that. Uh, I like it. But yeah, bear in mind uh, the difference in the room are much more uh, easy to tell than they are in the video. Back to the conclusion. Uh, which one do you prefer? Let me know. Uh, I do prefer mine in the end because it has more warmth. It's more, it's more creamy uh, if I can say that. And yeah, I don't think it's due to the strings. Uh, I think it's 100% due to the pickups and the construction because the second construction makes it sound a little bit more warm, more. Uh, I don't know more with with more bass, uh, but this one really nice. It's really nice too because it stands out a lot in the mix, and it's uh, the, the pickups are a little less 
have a little less output, but yeah, in the end, two really nice guitars, but let me know in the comments which one do you prefer. Uh, subscribe if you want to support me, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!